Records Unleashed. Today, I want to talk about Ingve Malmsteen in 1984. Was he the best guitar player that year? I want to talk about conjecture and speculation. Malmsteen against other guitar players. And we're going to watch some videos and we're going to see what we think. Who would have been the ultimate winner in a shred off? Malmsteen against his competition. Speed and technique. Speed and precision. Who would come out on top? Hmm. I'm not talking about songwriting. I'm not talking about your favourite guitar player. I'm not saying that just because Malmsteen is faster or more technical than someone else means he's a better guitar player than the other guy. I'm just talking about a shred off. Like Jack Butler versus the Karate Kid in Crossroads, that kind of thing. Cutting heads. Just Malmsteen and his guitar on one side of the stage and the other guy on his side of the stage with his guitar and his amp. So Malmsteen, 1984, he brought out his solo album, Rising Force, and it's like one of the greatest shred albums, if not the greatest shred album of all time, arguably. Classic stuff. And on that album, he used a lot of techniques, like really fast alternate picking runs, sweet picking, legato and tapping, neoclassical style, you know, like harmonic minor and Phrygian dominant scales, diminished arpeggios. It's all there. Very influential on the neoclassical metal world. Let's take a look.
Thank <laughs> you.